Hello everyone, my name is Stan and I'm going to react to the, the 3.7 special program. Let's, let's react to this. Uh, before, we, before we start, actually I'm going to say just for now, I do know two things uh, in this that's coming up. I know about the banners and I know of the redemption codes. So I've already redeemed the redemption codes. I, I don't know if they're still valid. I redeemed them, I redeemed them uh, a few hours ago. Uh, but another thing is I know that the banners are Yaimiya, uh, Yaimiko in the first phase, along with Kirara. And then the second phase was I think Kazwa and Kave. No, not Kave, sorry, uh, Alhatham. I, I don't know why I keep getting confused with... Like whenever I think of Kave, I say Alhatham. Whenever I think of Alhatham, I say Kave. For some weird reason. Like their names always just do a switcheroo in my mind. Uh, but I know those banners and I know the redemption codes. Other than that, I don't know anything. I don't know the events. I don't know if there's the new Archon quest. I don't know anything else. Um, I did see a, I did see something in the middle when I was loading this video. Like when I clicked on the video and it, it just auto-played and I saw something in the middle. Uh, someone in the middle. I, I didn't see it clearly. I just went back immediately. Uh, but other than that, I know, I know zero, nothing else. So uh, yeah, first reaction. Let's uh, let's start. Yeah, that is a new you must be the character. Traveler. I've heard she looks like someone from Honkai Star Rail. Uh, I'm just I just want to let you guys know I will be pausing, uh, not too much, just a little bit. If if they are if they uh, if like if if someone's talking on on the video and I want to say something like. Uh, at the moment, uh, I'm gonna pause. If they're not, if they're not talk, no one's talking. I'm just gonna say, uh, say what I want without pausing. Uh, just letting you know. A lot about you. Oh, are you following the tournament too? Mm. It's a pleasure to meet you. Tournament. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. Oh, Fontaine. To cover the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Since you've also taken interest in the tournament, how would you like to be a special contributor for my column? Yeah, huh. Of course, you'll receive payment as a contributor, and your name will even appear in the credits. We know the Steambird. I'm not mistaken. I've heard that before. You're even acquainted with some of the contestants, right? Oh ho ho! I really do have an eye for a story, don't I? It seems like this will be a solid piece. I can see it now. Exclusive inside scoop on the renowned traveler and secrets of the TCG tournament. How does that sound? It has a nice ring to it, no? It's a competition. Yeah, it's just a working title for now. Any journalist worth their salt knows mm -hmm. how to look past the surface. She's, a, the she's a journalist. Any breaking news. But it's important to always keep the stories based on actual facts. We can always discuss more details. Later. I like the voice. Of course, I'll be covering the latest stories from the King of Invocations Grand Prix. But I'll definitely be keeping my eyes open for any other potential news leads. When it comes mm. to breaking news, I'm always the first on the scene. Anyway, I won't keep chatting your ear off. <laughs> There's a lot more exciting news waiting to be uncovered. So let's have a look. New character that they didn't tease in the hmm? in the drip marketing. Do my ears deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? That's her. Wow. So Monstad. A card snatcher? Hmm. The die. Very interesting. City on the lake teams with talent. Kaya. CG tournament as young prodigy best Favonian cavalry captain. Down on the ground, the dice spin around. While high in the sky, the sun shines. Wait, Liyue. All right. Say Are we going to each time. nation? I, Kaidahara Kazuha, humbly accept this duel. Inazuma's Archon bolts her way to the semifinals, only to be stunned by oh. a crafty opponent. <laughs> the nerve. Saying that in the presence of me <laughs> and A? Lightning from Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? You must be tired after the walk back to shore. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I should let you go first. If this right tofu uh, hasn't gotten too cold, I would Is just... that Kirara? She, I know she has a tournament. Like, cat tail. The tournament has already finished. Sumer, of course it's Sino. <laughs> Use forbidden hand at the opportune moment. There's no destination I That's Kirara. Thank you for choosing Komania Express. <laughs> <laughs> what is that weapon? I, I 
didn't see the weapon. Also, did she just transform into a box? I'm gonna have to watch that again later. I, I didn't see that properly. Did she wow. turn into a box? Oh, this is Sumeru? There's more? There are so many huge mushrooms here. They're big enough. Yoimiya and Sumeru? Yoimiya is outside. Inazuma. I think that's the first. <laughs> Wait. That's the first. Yomiya and Yomiya is outside in Azuma. That's gonna be in, uh, that's gonna be exciting. Hello, everyone. Lumine. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.7 special program. I'm your host, Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of Lumine, and I have a new friend here with me. Hmm. Make sure the truth comes first and report stories that stand out the most. This is reporter Charlotte from the Steambird. A pleasure to meet you. Charlotte. Hey, everybody. I'm Maya Aokitaro, the voice of Charlotte. And as mentioned just now, Charlotte is a reporter from Fontaine, and she's currently working mm. for the Steambird, which many of you may have probably Fontaine. Heard of. Oh, for sure. It's I mean, been mentioned in several places throughout the close to Fontaine, so. If I remember correctly, Mona also writes a column mm -hmm. for the Steambird. Yep, she, so it seems like she, a uh, she writes the, the horoscope part, you know, the divinations and stuff. The cute one in the middle with pink hair and a camera in her hands must mm -hmm. be Charlotte, right? Ooh, that's right. <laughs> she, she honestly looks like Yan Fei, but then she also looks like a she also looks like Pom Pom and Asta from Star Rail. Like you know the the conductor kind of uh, theme with the hat. Looks like uh, it reminds me of Pom Pom, even the red, uh, the red theme. So. Charlotte's the one with the camera. She is a journalist, after all, so she's got her equipment ready at mm -hmm. all times. The camera. So in the upcoming ver Charlotte will be heading to several nations to gather her news material. So multi-nation event. That's I think that's a first, right? Usually events are within one single, uh, one single. Okay, that explains region. why we see so many friends from different nations in the picture. Mm -hmm. Does that mean the mystery will be yours just, to reveal in 3.7? So I just noticed. Let's find out what happens and make sure you don't miss out. The Adventurers Guild has also prepared some other event mini games to spice up the TCG mm. tournament. That's right. There will oh, be and a a of four event game modes, including a tour of wonders, zero hour invocation, ever motion mechanical painting, and heart of the dice. And oh, the mechanical. Wonders, the organizer no mechanical painting in various nations. After you complete the required challenges by it's navigating the one with the gears, right? or defeating monsters, unlike the official tournament matches, this format adopts a special rule set. Hmm. So you won't be able to use your own decks. Oh. Instead, you will have to build a deck. Zhongli. Hypostasis. Amber. Are we finally getting Archon cards? You will have to build a deck by Hu Dao? You won't be able to Hu Dao and Zhao? Oh. Instead, you will have to build a deck by selecting cards out How of the How many cards are we getting? Organizers. And That's literally a Hu Dao and a Zhao card and a Hypostasis card. And Zhongli. I see some new cards here. We also saw his weapon, right? Also some new cards here. Hmm. Chances are you'll get to duel against some familiar faces. Look at that, yeah. Pieces. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like fun already. All right. What about ever I, I might get back into, uh, you know what I said about TCG about being repetitive? I think this might be what brings me back now. Ocean mechanical painting and heart of the dice. I yeah, I know this. Travelers have played ever oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. That may be all for the version event, but I still have something else to report. Um. Okay. In version 3.7, there will not only be a genius invocation event but also a major update to the tcg game itself okay i might get back into tcg oh, okay. that's awesome what can we expect to see in the new update then so oh, it's, it's the all version many new cards will be added to g we get all of these cards at once 
Genius Invocation TCG, including character cards, monster cards, and action cards. Okay. Amazing, right? <laughs> yeah! And it's also noteworthy that the cards of the Animo, Geo, Electro, and Dendro Archons will also be available after the update. This is a huge Ooh, update. see some incredible and fun new decks. Nice! Okay. Yeah, that was a nice maiden card. Options that suit my decks the best. <laughs> What, what's what happening? So, uh, that cat was uh, just sitting there all this, this whole time. <laughs> I thought it was just there for decoration. Like, it didn't, it didn't say I anything till now. Where's it coming from? <laughs> <laughs> I got so caught up in listening to you two talking that Wait, so I she, almost forgot that I'm on the job. She does Here, transform into that box. Aww. Aww. I have an urgent delivery for you. Please sign here, and I'd really appreciate it if you could leave me a good review. I like the... Thank you. Oh my gosh. I really Thank love you. the voice. I love the voice. It's, it's cute. Look at that. Is that the time? Like, once it reaches here, it's gonna stop. Hmm, yep, it was. I like that. Welcome back, travelers! Our two special correspondents this time are... Dun, da, da, da. It's me! It's Jenny Oh, you and Mia! The voice of Yoy Mia! <laughs> Hi, everybody! I'm so excited to be here doing the special program. This is one of the most exciting moments of my life. Her voice also is... Her voice oh. actor's talented. Meowdy, travelers! I'm Julia Goo, voice actress for the new playable character, Kirara. Okay, so you were in a kitty box mm. just now, so thank you for that urgent delivery. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's she just a nice job. She delivered. Mia. Like no other. More like purrier. Ooh. Oh, okay. no. Meowster for that. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get to hear more about Kirara, why don't we check her out first? Yeah. Yay! Let's do it. Oh, the scenery here is wonderful. She has two tails. <laughs> I've landed the perfect job. What weapon is that? I Is that a sword? I thought she'd be a bow character. Coming through. And she does a flip. Service with a smile. She literally transforms into a box. Kirara is a Dendro a lot of puns. sword user and can effectively assist her companion. Dendro sword while user. World exploration more efficient. Okay, her attack. Wait, 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 what? Companions while also making world exploration more efficient. Okay, her attack. Does she have a exploration passive? Like a really good one? Using its claws. I love it. Editor, I love okay. It. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so it's cool. lower accurate. It's gonna be easier to get like fowl and raw meat and easier to hunt. Yeah, watch out, Timmy. Timmy should watch his back. <laughs> oh, not Timmy! No! Yes, Timmy! No! Sorry. Sass me. Well, she's always going to keep you well fed. And holding down the elemental skill will not only grant shape, oh. but also put Kirara in a unique state. Yeah. So the whole thing is that that's the cutest thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my entire life, and I need you to immediately tell me more about it right meow. <laughs> oh, no problem at all. Thank you, yes. In this state, Kirara will deal dendro damage upon slamming into enemies, but more uniquely, this mm. will also drastically increase her movement and climbing speed, along with her jumping ability. Climb. Okay, um, that sounds super useful. So just how so do you climb? Straight. She'll be able to just climb straight up walls. Oh yeah, she'll be able to climb oh. straight up a vertical surface in this state. Um. Okay. Well. How that, long does okay, it? Okay. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> it's so great for exploring. And I guess that's one of the reasons why she's a trust. And she can jump. Mm-hmm. And finally, with her elemental burst, she smashes the enemy with a special delivery package, mm -hmm. which then explodes into numerous small dendro bombs. These bombs will Please tell me Kazwa can enemies or after a duration. Suck those up. Dendro damage. And can we just appreciate the fact that you the can bombs are nice shaped? Because I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> and yeah! just so cute. <laughs> So cute. She has kitty styled attacks, kitty styled deliveries, and she also has kitty styled <laughs> bombs. Oh, you saw the amazing. You saw the weapon? She keeps the weapon like uh, horizontally. Deliveries, and she also has kitty styled bombs. Yeah, look at that. She keeps it horizontally. Amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. She is. I think only Ayaka does that. So 
aside from Kirara running to various nations making deliveries, I also heard about another one of our friends leaving their home to explore the world. Ooh, so who wants to go on a trip? Oh my gosh, wait, is it you and Mia? Because you guys are like looking <laughs> oh? at me, a humble oh? PNG. Amazing, okay. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I think you might be knowledgeable about traveling across nations. What? I think my parents are sleeping, sorry. Um, a story quest part, two, I mean, act two for Yoimiya. It's because you have information on Yoimiya's story quest. I totally... A second story quest. I mean, I guess her first story quest was technically part of an Archon quest or like a prerequisite for an Archon quest. But still... I do, I was just being a little stinky. I thought only Archons get get uh, a second story quest <laughs> we'll be embarking on a globe trotting adventure heading to i Samaria. did not expect this I, I would not expect this it's a pretty far are you wondering what new companions can travelers invite for their teams in version 3.7 right that takes us to our event uh, i think yeah, I know this thing our travelers are always interested in no so, you'll rerun details about 3.7's event wishes same time Kirara will also be making her debut in these events with I already have Yaimiko, so I'm gonna Kirara might want to take both for Kirara on Yaimiya's banner. Half of version 3.7's event wishes. And now to Jenny with the weather. <laughs> the weather is still weather. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> when travelers the weather is weathering. Meru, they might also encounter their old friend Kabe. This is because Kabe's very own hangout of Oh, hangout. So be available in I still have to do the ones that came out recently, but master architect from Sumeru. Eventually yeah, when I get is quite the to these quests, I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. He has certain principles that he always clings to. I hope I'll enjoy sure it. If you spend time with him during the hangout, we'll get to know him a lot better. Oh, we're gonna be besties in no time. <laughs> <laughs> so travelers interested in learning more about Kabe will get to experience. Yay! Ooh. Yeah! Woo! We'll now be getting Kale hangout. Coming our way, I think we can move on to some news about other fun okay. events coming in version the... 7. What do you think? I think that's the other a events. good idea, Yay! Sarah, my friend. <laughs> okay, so not only are there events. Oh, I remember this event. This mm -hmm. is the one that lets you design your own domain. Oh, oh I remember. Right. I just didn't remember However, the name. This event's gameplay has been upgraded a bit, and the development team has specifically designed some stages for everyone to challenge and get oh, used to. Oh, God. <laughs> it was hard last... It was hard already before when people were creating insane maps. I, th I think this one's going to make it harder. For example, here. Okay, so next, we have a challenge event called the Feast of the Departed Warriors. A mysterious domain has appeared near the Falcon Coast. Combat the event. Depths are crawling with powerful foes. Travelers will need to rely on their martial prowess to defeat them and I'm glad that they're giving us these now in, in the most, in the recent events. <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> yeah. Events. Anyway, this event should be one that many travelers are familiar with. However, let me give a quick over... Travelers can also add additional and, okay. conditions to their difficulty. So you can make life harder for yourself. With increased difficulty resulting in greater rewards. Okay, I, I think I get the gist of this one. I heard Thunder Manifestation and my heart stopped a little bit. <laughs> so full disclosure, I'm probably not going to be doing the increased difficulty. But I hope everyone's ready for a challenge. <laughs> yes. Wheels can enjoy this. Don't worry, travelers can still get key rewards and materials by completing the challenge on lower difficulties, including Primo Gems. Oh, thank goodness. Travelers who are looking for a real challenge can try the higher difficulties for a proper fight. <laughs> I heard lower difficulties, and I once again feel safe. <laughs> cool beans. <laughs> Let's move on to the next event. Okay, so this one is another returning event for version 3.7 called Trials Trials Hypothesis. Hypothesis. So maybe some of you remember Jammy, the Sumeru researcher who was I struggling so. with his thesis proposal. These tinctures. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a combat event. They can use them to enter the time dilation state. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. They can identify the weaknesses of their opponents mid-battle and select I remember this. I think this was in 3.0 or 3.1, right? Their opposition before using their super sense skill to deal massive damage. Ooh. Or maybe later. I don't remember. I remember the... Very helpful the I think it, No, I think it was 3.1. The damage dealt by just before Nahida came out is pretty incredible oh it's oh, really yeah. cool I mean, that's <laughs> it's either during Nahida's uh, it can take patch or before that uh, snap you know like taking a picture 
I didn't know <laughs> you were going to be channeling your inner Sino. I didn't know. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, but remember, this event requires you to use the corresponding What's with the buns, these, this tree there? Uh, oh, good. Okay, this way, everyone this will time. be able to try out more characters. Exactly. Okay, there's seriously so much for all of us to experience. Oh, and we can try it. Nice. And, oh, would you look at the time? Oh, yeah. Okay, the third redemption code is coming right up. And Let's that's the end. Together. Here it comes. Yay! Get ready. Oh. Whoop, whoop. Okay. And that's the end of today's report. Mini games, mini events. Yeah. I'm so excited, yeah. especially the Evermotion mechanical painting. Mini games, big excitement. Yeah, I like the mini games. Yes. Usually <laughs> people just, just don't... Uh, I just love them. <laughs> they're not excited for those, but I am actually excited for those. Players should be sure to check. So like the mini games part of Genshin. They like chill. They don't require too much effort. These details about version 3.7 with everyone. So hope you all have a fantastic time in the upcoming update. All right, this is the end of our program. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye. 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 I like that. What? Fontaine? We're underwater? Can we go diving? Are we, are we gonna... Probably not gonna be next patch. This is a teaser. So I think it's gonna be 3.8 and then it's gonna be uh, Fontaine. I think it's gonna be like that. But still, they gave us a teaser. Underwater swimming. Like, are we getting a diving mode? <laughs> There's gonna be underwater chests. There's gonna be underwater puzzles. Please tell me we can breathe underwater. Or it's gonna be so annoying to explore. Or at least give us a character that can breathe underwater. Like Kokumi. Give give her give Kokumi another passive. I was not expecting. They, they, I was not expecting Archon TCG. I was not expecting them to give us so many new cards. I was not expecting, I was not expecting Charlotte. I didn't even, like they didn't even tell us about, uh, about her in the drip marketing when they give us Kirara uh, before this patch released. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting Yoimiya's story quest part two. And I wasn't expecting Fontaine teaser. It's a, it's, it feels like, it feels like the just, uh, like just the right amount of content. Uh, it's not overwhelming. And, uh, like, like if there was an Archon quest, if there was a new region, if there was a new event, if there was new, uh, if there was more events, if there was a new, like, major world quest all at the same time, I think that's kind of, uh, if there's a new Archon quest, if there's new character. Uh, if there's a new story quest, I think if all of those are together, it, it feels... Uh, it feels just too much. And uh, too much for one patch at least. So I, th I think this is just the right amount. Uh, a, a little more, but I think it's more gameplay uh, and less story. So more content, less story content. So more gameplay content. Uh, I feel I feel like this patch is like that. Uh, which is okay. Because uh, I don't, I don't think the gameplay takes too much time. Uh, yeah, Mia. Of all people, there was second story quest, right? Yeah, Venti. Before Venti, yeah, Ven first Venti story quest. He's literally, he's literally an Archon. And I didn't think. Wait, this gives new hope for, for other story quests for the for other characters. Yeah, Miko story quest part two. Yelan story quest part two. Maybe you could get story story quest part three. Who knows? 
Oh wait, so so I guess whenever they don't release a five star, maybe they'll release a five star story quest. Like if they don't release a five star character. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're still here, uh, and leave some feedback for me so that I can improve my videos. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace.